Hey everybody, welcome back to another World of Warship Splits video. So first off, it's uh, October 8th. I want to apologize for everybody uh, for not getting any videos out, but as of right now, if you kept track of uh, my post, my uh, big lab Max Mastiff mix, he uh, contracted uh, Lyme disease and something else. And was very sick there for a couple days. He had a uh, big, big expensive visit to the emergency vet. And, uh, well, he's way better now. Um, actually, like, better than he was beforehand. So he's, he's doing real good. So thanks for all the, the thoughts and prayers on that one. Uh, yesterday was cool enough. My first day out hunting. Was able to harvest a really nice doe last night. So that's why this video is running late. So... Again, appreciate the uh, patience on it. So anyways, the Black Francesco. I don't know what to say about it, guys. I bought it so you don't have to. Just put it that way. Let's take a peek at the stats though, on it. So, the trade-off here. The fuel smokes versus the rapid reloads. I kind of like having the fuel smokes more than the rapid reloads. I mean, the rapid re reloads can come in clutch, but I don't know. Given the fact you can get into some tier 8 matches, I really like those fuel smokes on the tech tree version. Uh, besides that, you see there's really no difference whatsoever in these ships. You know, a slightly less slightly less uh max traverse speed on uh or slightly more max traverse speed on the uh on the black version so the only difference is the rapid reload now i made a video some time ago that because i like the tier 7 italian battleship i really like it i know a lot of people uh, struggle with it but to me it's pretty fun this one i had to get it to test it out and and i'm not a huge fan of the ship. You know, like I said, those 4x2s have some dispersion issues to be careful with. I mean, besides that, like I said, the fuel smoke. The fuel smoke's like the deal breaker for me. You know, where am I at on this ship? I think I got 10 battles in oh, Let me switch, swap that. I think I got like 10 battles in it right now. Or close to it. Let's find it real quick so I can go over what, what I've got going on with it. There we go. Eight, eight, uh, I mean, the win rate, the average damage is pretty nice. It, it's just not... I don't know, guys. It's, it's just not like... I enjoy the Tech Tree version so much more. You know, with the build I'm running, I've got the de surface detection down to 8.3 kilometers. When we throw the high-grade coal on there, now we're, you know, we got to be under, we got to be right around 8 kilometer surface detection. That's like the only nice thing about this ship, which you can get in the Tech Tree version. And, again, the Tech Tree version versus this one, no, no need to buy the historical camo for it. These free camos that we get monthly now with hit points and surface detection absolutely perfect camos to play the Italian battleship line with. So besides that, I got a, a decent game for you to watch real quick. I didn't, you know, no, uh, nothing to really talk about here. If you are thinking about picking the ship up out of the shipyard, save your resources and just grind out the tier seven tech tree version of it. Um, or get a different tech tree just to get diff different premium altogether. It's not worth it guys. Not for that cost. So with that, I'll get the gameplay up for you guys real quick. And uh, again, thanks for being patient, guys. All right, what do we got here? Lexington, Richelieu, Amano, Ekatsuki, Florida, and a bot. Okay, two bots. All right. Black Nagato, Split, Lexington. Not a ter I mean, it's not terrible. So we're going to, uh, it's, it's an epicenter map. So, you know, I'm going to kind of head in towards the center. If I had the fuel smokes on the tech tree, I might be tempted to flank, and I'm going to say flank, but flank up the, uh, in, on the outside ring. Get this thing to full speed and we'll start heading in. Shoot forward, I can 
Suki. Uh, yeah, okay. Make sure I have everybody. CV spotting off on the side there. Not sure why. I don't know, there's good points and bad points to this ship. The rapid reload's nice, but I like I like the fuel smoke on the Tech Tree version way better. Just it just helps that surface detection that much more and you know, it's it's a, it's at least like two salvos a game that you can uh avoid just having that fuel smoke. All right, who do we have over here? Oh, Akatsuki. Put some shots out of him, see if I lead this right. He's turning a little bit, so I might miss a few here. All right, Richelieu's going way out. Oh, nice hits. Richelieu's going out real wide. All right, what's Akatsuki doing here? I might I might pop rapid reload here to see if I can get him. And, oh, blind shot. Let's see what we do. He shoots, he scores! That was just pure blind luck, but I'll take it. It makes it look good anyways. I really don't want to get tangled up with Richelieu, and I really don't want to get tangled up with Florida, so I'm kind of in a bad spot the way these two are pushing. All right, we'll get ready to uh, switch over to the AP. At least we got possibly some help with Florida. Huh. No, Cataluni. Uh, we, have a, we have our DD over here, so we, we do have help. Let's help him out. Because I'm, like I said, getting into a, a trade with Richelieu is just going to be asking for trouble on my end. Well, we are going to take a... No, good. I was wondering. I was thinking we were gonna take a healthy salvo from Florida, but we let, we lucked out there. He's at least giving us a broadside. He's turning out. At least gives a, a Z thirty one oh some support. Our black Nagato's flanking. Rich was going to dodge that, that torp drop. All right, Gustav's coming in. All right, I think I'm going to have to take a mono out. Put shots into Gustav first, maybe. Yeah, see if we can knock that bot out. Close enough. I mean, Richelieu, honestly, it's a pretty pretty bad play to be running down that side of the epicenter map like that. Now we got shots at the mono. Let's see what we do here. No, oh, at least we knocked a torpedo tube out. There's the aircraft carrier coming in. I wonder if I can get a sneak a shot on him, or if Black Nagato is going to take him out. The mono's not turning. I'm not sweating torps yet. Now I'll be sweating torps. He's trying to get torps off on me. Hit the brakes. Turn out a little bit. There's the torp drop. We get main gun salvo into Lexington. Well, I'll take a cheap shot on an aircraft carrier any day. Now we're just going to keep backing up because I'm Black Nagato should finish him up. There's the flood. Now we're just going to back up to see if we can get a pot shot on Richelieu before uh, the game ends. I, I don't understand the uh, running Richelieu around the side of the map like that just to take the aircraft carrier out. Don't understand it at all. Oh, 
62k. We should be able to get at least one more salvo off on him. Maybe two if we're lucky by the time we spot him. Pad the stats. What do we got? We, we got three citadels, 40 main gun hits, three modules damaged, 20 secondary hits. Not bad. Let's see if we can get detected here. Come on, dude. Where are you at? Right, can we detect him? Frustrating. That was very frustrating. Anyways, we kind of went through the run-through already what we did, so 